Westchester County, New York. An unbelievable sight is unfolding on the interstate. A raging driver is tearing up the highway in a 20-foot limousine. He just decides to take off. You know, I can't believe what I'm seeing at that point. Trooper Todd Bomer spotted the stretch Cadillac doing 120 miles an hour. He gave chase, only to have the shifty chauffeur try to lose him on surface streets. The trooper watches stunned as the massive luxury ride screams around blind corners on the wrong side of the road. If anyone was coming southbound, he would have definitely would have killed him with the size of the vehicle that he had. The suspect soon realizes that he can't outmaneuver cops. So he heads back to the freeway and goes for speed. The rogue pegs the dial at a breakneck 150, cutting past cars on the shoulder. Trooper Sean Kelly takes the lead, at least as much as he can. It was obvious the way he was driving, it was a good possibility that he, he might wreck. So I want to stay at a good distance, but at the same time, keep a visual on him. But testing the limo's limits soon catches up to the driver. The transmission blows, spewing a cloud of white smoke. Just up ahead, police form a roadblock. It seems the chase is over. But unbelievably, the fearless suspect finds one gear that still works. Reverse. His only possible escape at that point is to actually back up on the southbound entrance ramp. The man pulls a mind-blowing maneuver, throttling onto another freeway in the wrong direction. He makes an insane tail-first charge toward oncoming traffic before pulling a stunt-like switch at the last possible moment. He was quite talented in his driving ability, that's for sure. But when the limo ends up in a residential neighborhood, the road warrior's hindsight finally fails him. He can't handle a tight turn and rams into a stand of trees. The car is trapped. Officers soon discover that the man behind the wheel fled simply because his license was suspended. But there's another surprise, too. He had a buddy along for the terrifying ride. I was just glad it was over and it ended the way it did. Nobody got hurt. The suspects charged with 28 traffic offenses in four different jurisdictions. Fortunately, when this million-dollar ride ended up in the hands of a two-bit outlaw, it didn't cost anyone their lives.